Hello and welcome to another Vista Tips and Tricks video. I haven't done one of these in a while as I've been busy with projects, but today I'm doing a little bit of pre vising so I thought I'd try and get another one of these out to you. So I've seen a lot of questions asking about the move in black function in Vista and kind of how to use it and why you'd want to use it. So I've created a, a small little show file to kind of go through uh, some of the ways you can use uh, moving in black and some of the reasons why you'd want to use it. So quickly before we start, uh, moving in black also goes by a couple of other names and uh, other terminology. Uh, you might hear it called move in dark, uh, but most commonly you'll um, hear it called marking. So we need to mark that cue or mark that fixture. So when I say any of those things, I'm still talking about move in black. It's all the same thing. So I've created a really quick and easy cue list here uh, to kind of demonstrate this. Q1, we have our watches come up. So from our released home position, they will come up over five seconds. Then I have Q2, which brings in my spots. They kind of go to a fly out, crossed out position. Q3 takes those spots out. And Q4 brings those spots back in, but in a new position and in a new color. Now, in this cue list, there are several things I want to happen. First of all, I don't want to see any of those live moves. And by live move, I mean, I don't want to see any movement over my cue time. I don't want to see any color changing over my cue time. I only want to see my lights come up in intensity and go down in intensity and have everything else set for them. So the color needs to already be set. The position needs to already be set. Um, the beam angle already needs to be set. I only want intensity to come up and down in these cues. And this is why we would want to use marking, because marking is a really quick way uh, that you can tell the desk, I only want to see uh, the intensity come up, but I want everything else already marked, ready to go. So I'll show you the first example of this will be my Q1. At the moment, my desk is completely clear, so it's released, there's nothing alive. If I hit go on this queue, my washes will travel down stage and they will go from white to blue. And the reason they're doing this is because they're going from their home position to this programmed queue position. But what happens if I just want them to appear as they are now, straight away? I would create a move in black queue. And it does what it says on the tin. My lights will move in black. They will move and set whilst they have no intensity, ready for a queue where they come up in intensity. So all those parameters are set and ready for this queue. So I'll go ahead and show you this. So to mark a queue, either be in it or have it selected. Hold down your control key or your yellow modifier key. At the top toolbar, right on the end, by default, you'll find your marking options. Click that, it will bring up this dialog box. Now, because I have selected my first queue and there is no queue before it to put any marking information in, it's uh, by default gone to the insert a new moving black queue for me. Now, what that means is Vista is going to put a moving black queue before this queue um, and it's going to do it all for you. Uh, we're going to label this move in black queue preset. Uh, we're going to have the duration of it be uh, two seconds. I'm going to make this one a halt. Uh, under that, we have our marked features. So just like a preset, I can choose uh, whether I want my different features to mark or not. So I might want the position to move live, but everything else to be marked, for instance. So this is where you can kind of pick and choose what you want to be marked and what you don't. In this example, I want everything to mark for my first queue. And below that, we have uh, our all fixtures option or our current selection option. If we select all fixtures, everything that can mark in this queue will mark. If we select current selection, only my selected fixtures will be marking in this queue. So this is all set up, ready to go. So I'm going to hit OK. And the first thing you'll see is that Vista has already created my mark queue for me. It's 0.5, it's taken my label of preset and my timing of two seconds, and it's made a, a halt for me. Second thing you'll notice is you get 
a little icon that pops up on your queue now. So this uh, Q1 has a little mark symbol, and this is because this is the queue uh, you have set lights to mark for. So you, this is the queue you, that is going to be the result of the marking. And in Q0.5, we have a little MIB or move in black symbol. And that's because the lights are moving in black for a marked queue in this queue. If we go to our timeline, you'll be able to see that we have position information that is marking and color information that is marking. Uh, and we can't select these and they are grayed out. And that's because that isn't program information that we've put in. This is uh, marking information that Vista has done for us. So these are, this is information that is marking for this queue. So now if I uh, hit go on my preset, you'll see that my washes have moved uh, in dark. So while they're not on, they have moved. They have snuck into place. If I hit go again, you'll see that happen. You'll also see that they have gone to blue for me already. So now when I hit my first cue, all that happens is they fade up in the right color in the right place. They're no longer um, traveling downstage from a home position. They're no longer going from white to blue from a home position. They are set and they are ready to go. So let's do another one. So in this queue, I don't want my spots um, to fly out. I don't want them to zoom in. I just want them to come up in intensity already in this position. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to hold down control or my yellow modifier key. I'm going to hit mark Q. But this time, because I have cues that already precede it, I have a couple of options. So because there's already a queue preceding it, I can hit OK right now and it will put all of the marking information in the queue previous. But as this is the first time I'm using my spots, what I can also do is I can select queue, select the queue in which I want the moving in black to happen. So say I want um, all of this to happen together in my preset, my 0.5, I can. I can simply select 0.5, hit OK, and now Q2, my spots, will be marking uh, and all of the moving in black will happen in my 0.5 preset because I've set it there. Same again, I want all features to be marked and I want all fixtures to be marked too. So I want everything in this queue to mark. So I'm going to hit OK. And again, I get my little mark symbol. So this means that this queue is marking but I've put all of the marking information in my preset. So as you can see, I now have my spots pan and tilt information and my washes pan and tilt information. And now my new spots beam information, all marking in Q0.5, but this is all marking for Q2. And I can show you this in action now. So if I hit go on my preset, I can hit go on my first queue. Now my second queue, as before, my spots did a little fly out effect. Now they will simply come up over six seconds, already zoomed in, already in their position because I have marked them from my preset. Now my next queue will take them out and then Q4 will bring them back in in a new position. Now in my show, these two queues need to happen quite quickly next to each other. So I need these to fade out, then I need them to mark quickly, and then I need them to fade in. If I mark them normally, as we have been doing, so I'll select mark, and I will just take all of this information, make sure it's all fixtures, and hit OK. By default, it will mark all of this in the queue before, so it will mark uh, Q4, um, all of that will happen at the end of Q3 whilst they're in uh, blackout. 
um, and it will happen over the queue time. So all marking happens over queue time. So if we hit go now, it takes four seconds for the lights to fade out. And then it takes four seconds for them to get into place ready for Q4. And I hit go. Now that's okay if I've got enough time in between. But if I haven't, say it goes something like this. So Q3 go. Q4 go. As you can see, I actually haven't had time to mark it. So this is why we'd want to insert a new move in black queue. So I'm going to quickly unmark this queue. And to do that, you simply go to disable move in black and hit OK. And as you can see, it unmarks. Now I'm going to mark it again, but this time I'm going to insert a new move in black queue, just like we did before at the beginning for our preset. But this time I'm going to keep it as MIB. I'm going to make the duration zero seconds for this and I'm going to make it an auto follow and again for all my fixtures now when I hit OK as you can see it's inserted a follow queue for me it's labeled it moving black it's put all of my moving black information in that queue and it's made it zero seconds so now what happens is in queue 3 my lights fade out they mark really really quickly so now my Q4 will come up in time and all of my lights will already be there for me because I have defined how quickly things need, things need to mark with this queue. Um, do bear in mind that um, obviously your lights can only mark as quick as they can move as well. So just because you've given something a, a zero time in Vista, in real life, your moving heads might not be quick enough to actually physically get there in zero seconds. So do bear in mind that you're, you're also limited by how quick um, your lights can move and change uh, physically. And then we bring them up in Q4 ready. Another thing we can do is say we wanted, uh, we don't want to mark the color. So we want the, the color to change live with this queue. Simply go to our mark, then deselect the color, hit OK. And if I go back a couple of cues, our spots fade out. They mark, we hit go. And now they come up in white and fade to green because we haven't marked the color. So this is kind of a, a very quick and basic run through of some of the reasons you might want to use marking in Vista. Uh, hopefully you can see that it's it's quite powerful and it's very time saving. Um, you don't have to copy um, looks from one queue, paste them in another queue, take all the intensity out so they're set ready. Um, it really helps keep your show file nice and clean. And it's just a nice quick way of getting um, some quite complicated things done. Uh, and Vista does it kind of all for you. Like I said, if you want to insert a moving black queue, uh, Vista can do it for you. Um, you can define really precisely uh, what fixtures and what features you want marking for when. You can tell Vista which queues you want to be moving black queues. Um, and it, this uh, kind of very simple tool um, can really uh, speed up and neaten up a lot of your queue lists and your programming. So hopefully you guys have found this helpful. Please let me know if I haven't explained anything uh, clearly enough. Uh, and if there's any other questions you have, um, let me know. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.